Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here. This time reviewing on Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Now, Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase is a 2001 direct video animated science fiction comedy mystery film that is the full film in the Scooby Doo direct video film series, as well as as well as pretty much going back to its campy, lighter tone, and yeah, is meant to take place after Alien Invaders. So I think the way I do see the movie is a bit of a conclusion to the whole Zombie Island arc, and this is kind of like where we're going to see the gang back in their original clothes by the next film, kind of returning back to what they do best. So the premise of the film is meant to follow Mystery Inc., visiting their old friend and colleague student Eric, who has invented a prize-winning computer game. And we do kind of see how, yeah, Eric and his friend Bill and Professor Kaufman have to deal with the Phantom Virus. And I think what makes the Phantom Virus work a bit as a villain is just how the stakes are risen a lot higher. And knowing the possible dangers of what the Phantom Virus can do outside of cyberspace, you can tell Kaufman is worried about any repercussions. So we do kind of see how the gang get blasted into Eric's game, and this is where we're gonna see them survive every difficulty, every sort of challenge from the different levels, as well as deal with the Phantom Virus. And I think what the film gets right, in a way, is showing that the mystery gang are now older, and yeah, this is kind of like showing Daphne a bit more not wearing her outfit anymore. Fred not wearing, no longer wearing his ascot and wearing a sort of standard shirt. And you do kind of see, yeah, the gang kind of still solving mysteries, but not really fully going back to what they were. And I think when you do have the final level and them sort of meeting their old past selves, this is basically them getting inspired about being back to their old original selves, because I think when you had the next Scooby-Doo animated film, Legend of the Vampires, and when you do see Daphne, Fred, back in their original outfits, this did imply that after the events of Cyber Chase, they pretty much went back to their old outfits, being inspired by the people they once were. And I think, what, and I think what's actually interesting is, yeah, Grady Lyles is pretty much the, the new voice for Daphne when this film got made. And one, Grady Lyles is an amazing actress. Again, when she plays Azula, she knows how to sound menacing. When she does play Frankie, she knows how to sound like an aggressive stress nut. And there's a reason I would always have her for Tangle the, the, the Lima in, in an anime adaption for the Sonic IDW comics. She can actually pull it off. I think what the film does suffer from is making it obvious to who the villain's gonna be, and they leave so obvious hints. I think word of advice to anyone who's a writer, if you are building up a mystery villain, don't leave obvious hints, leave clues, hints, and foreshadowings. Because one, when you've got the Disney film Atlantis, when you've kind of got Megamind, when you kind of got Incredibles 2, and also when you do have, say, any other film that can build up to a mystery villain, you can pull it off well. Don't leave obvious clues and hints, just leave little lines, easter eggs, and nothing too obvious. And I think what's interesting is, yeah, the film also did get a game tie-in, because, yeah, it was kind of clear that the way I do see it is Cyber Chase kind of being the ending point to the whole Zombie Island arc. And this is the gang going back to their old days and fully accepting who they used to be. Because judging from Shaggy's red shirt, also Cyber Scooby's red collar, and Fred, Daphne and Velma's old appearances, this is them remembering their old days when they used to be much younger. And I think with Thelma mentioning about changing their wardrobe, this does hint that, yeah, they're fully going to be back to the proper selves. And the next Scooby-Doo movie was meant to put them back on the old day status quo. 
I think, well, yeah, not the perfect conclusion. It does feel like it wraps up the whole zombie island arc quite well. We slowly see the gang going back to being a unit, a team, and trying to and trying to be like their old selves again. And this is the proper conclusion. And the point of the old of the other Scooby-Doo movies is meant to have them back to who they were originally. And I think they pull it off quite well. So I think to me, while well, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase does feel a bit like a weak conclusion, it does feel like it's going back to its old memory lane days. And they do pull it off quite well. So I think this movie definitely deserves... Ah, uh, thumbs in the middle. But, it's, well, it's definitely a good conclusion. It definitely feels weak at some places. So, Comic Viewer here, signing out.